Okay, so the first one is just filling in a function table. So they've already filled in the function rule, you just gotta solve the output. So three times three minus four, that would be nine minus four is five. Three times seven minus four is 21 minus four, 17. Three times 16 is 48 minus four, 44. And that's all you gotta do for number one. Number two, they want you to find the function rule for the function table. So they're going from one to two, two to four, three to six, four to eight. So they're multiplying by two. So the function rule would be two n. Okay, number three, this is where you're just writing an equation. So it always starts out as y equals. And then to find out the rest of it, we're gonna put our coordinates, zero, 25. 135, 245. And you gotta figure out how they're going from zero to 25, one to 35, two to 45. Well, they're multiplying by 10, 10 X plus 25. So that would be your equation. Number four, write an inequality for this graph. So since it's a dot and it goes to the right, that means it's greater than or equal to Use any variable you want, I use x. x is greater than or equal to 13. Okay, number five and six go together. Five, you are solving the inequality, so since it's subtraction, just like an equation, you do the opposite of what's there. So we're gonna add six to each side. So m is less than 34. So number six, they want us to graph this. Okay, since it's this symbol, it's a circle right on the number line, and since it's less than, we go to the left. Seven, eight, and nine. So we're solving an inequality, just like an equation, but it's an inequality, so there's no equal sign. So we gotta add three to each side. C is less than or equal to 18. Since this is multiplication, we divide. So it's gonna be B is greater than nine. And then this is division. So we're gonna multiply. So we get D is less than 54. So that's the first page. On the back, 10, 11, and 12, you're finding the function table, or the function rule of each function table. So they're going from one to four, two to eight, four to 16. They are multiplying by four, four X. Number 11, 0 to 0, 3 to 1, 9 to 3. They are dividing by 3. And then the last one, they are subtracting by 2, x minus 2. Okay, for number 13, you're using the table. You gotta find the function rule first, then find the 22nd term. So they're going from 1 to 8, 2 to 16, 3 to 24, they're multiplying by 8. So to find the 22nd term, you multiply by 22. 176. Okay, number 14, we weren't graphing, so we're just writing the equation. So if they, if the gym charges $35 plus $20 per month, it's gonna be y equals x is months, so 20 times x plus that $35 fee. Okay, 15 and 16, you're writing the equation for each function table. So they go from one to three, two to six, three to nine, four to 12, that's y equals three x. They're multiplying by three. 16, one to two, two to six, three to 10, four to 14. So there's gonna be two steps here. Y equals four times x minus two. So you gotta multiply by four and then the minus two. 17, you are writing an inequality and then graphing it. So Hugo can spend no more than $10. So H represents Hugo. So if he can spend no more than that, he can spend $10, but everything less than that. So then you graph it. It's a dot. And we're going to the left because it's less than. And then number 18, we're multiplying by 12. So x is less than 24. So we graph this now. And that is a circle going to the left.